everyone did you know that phosphorus is used almost entirely in the form of compounds usually in the oxidation states of plus 3 plus 5 and minus 3 unlike nitrogen and various other nitrogens phosphorus tends to exhibit a preference for the plus 5 oxidation state but why is it so come let's find out like nitrogen Phosphorus forms compounds where it has all oxidation states between minus 3 and plus 5. The plus 3 state as in PCl3, P4O6, H3PO3 and the plus 5 state as in PCl5, P4O10 and H3PO4 are the most important. Both nitrogen and phosphorus belong to group 15. But as compared to nitrogen, phosphorus is more likely to exist in a positive oxidation state. Why is this so? This can be explained on the basis of differences in their atomic sizes and electronegativities. The electronic configuration of nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, while that of phosphorus is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. Among 8 added electrons, 5 occupy a new shell, n equal to 3, in phosphorus and consequently phosphorus is a larger atom. As a consequence, the attractive force exerted by the nucleus on the incoming electron is lower in the phosphorus atom. In other words, the electronegativity of phosphorus is lower. These properties make it easier for phosphorus to lose electrons as compared to nitrogen. This can also be verified by the ionization enthalpy values for nitrogen and phosphorus. To summarize, we have studied the various compounds of phosphorus like PCl3, P4O6, H3PO3, where it exhibits the plus 3 oxidation state, and PCl5, P4O10, and H3PO4, in which it exists in the plus 5 state. We have also seen why phosphorus forms compounds with positive oxidation states, with much more ease as compared to nitrogen. Did you know that dinitrogen has been known for many years to react with metals, such as lithium amongst the alkali metals and calcium under very mild conditions? Keep imbibing. We believe in you.